Hey, it's John Hink again, and we're going to talk about protecting Oracle with the NAV backup and the web UI experience here. So what you can see here is I've got um, some agents set up on these databases, and it automatically discovers the databases right away, and um, they're there display displayed. What I need to do at this point then is set up, um, you know, view them, set them up, and do what I want. As you can see, there's the all the sorts of things you can do with the rack support here. Uh, we can do load balancing. We can do all sorts of things to make sure those rack databases get, uh, you know, those clusters get protected properly. Uh, the biggest thing we have to do, though, of course, first is authenticate. Now, this, you can see there's a number of different ways to authenticate using the wallet and so on and so forth. But the first thing with the rack you got to supply is the database ID. So I'm going to put this in here. And then uh, I'm just going to use the database credentials. You can use whatever credentials you've set up for that database, and uh, you simply add them. Once you do that, you're now basically connected and registered with that database with that backup. Um, this puts it in an active state. This is all the load balancing you can set up across multiple nodes and whatnot. Um, the next step there is let's go configure an intelligent policy to, to do this. Okay, So all I need to do here is uh, this first part. If you're familiar with NetBack of policies, looks pretty much the same. It's just you want to make sure you pick the policy type of Oracle. In this case, I'm going to send it to dedupe uh, storage target. Um, uh, on MSDP. Now there's a few different types of schedules you can do. There's the full, uh, incremental, and um, then there's also a special type of schedule the policy you can do to or backup type that's called uh, redo log backup, which allows you to just hit those archive logs. Once you've established that, I didn't set a schedule in this one just because I'm using it for demonstration purposes. There's all different ways that you can intelligently find uh, what you want to get backed up. You can do this by picking specific database instances, say plug the whole instance. And at this point, you also can uh, have the ability to go and look at the individual backup selections of that instance. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can do here. You can do partial things. If I want to go and browse, I can go in here, for example, pick this guy out, and I will be able to pick different uh, elements of here, uh, basically table spaces that I want to protect. Um, and so this allows me to have some granular control and it, it adds a little bit of intelligence to the backup versus just dumping everything and hoping you got what you wanted. You can also do this on the data file level. Um, and this is uh, depending on like depending on your requirements, what you're trying to do and how you want to recover and move things around and present them again. Um, you can back them up like that. So there's another of uh, you know other options you can select the database backup shares the whole database you can do the database file copy share uh, these are all different ways you might want to do it um, for the sake of argument for this policy I'm just going to select the whole database and uh, then I can create the policy I create the policy but before I run a backup I just want to take a quick look at some of the additional options you can do so under the Oracle tab. You can see that there's a lot of interesting things here. One of them that's really interesting is the section size um, and the size of backup sets you can set. These are limits you can set so that you can control how much load might get put on the database server at any one point in time. Now to manual run the backup, I just do this. I'm going to pick the full schedule and I just hit OK. And that backup is going to take off. And so it's actually dynamically generating any sort of scripts, utilities it needs to do in order to interface with Oracle. Uh, you can see all this stuff. Um, so this is Really, you do using RMAN, it's allocating all the channels. It's important to note that um, we have a special stream handler for MSDP that gets you the best deduplication you can get by using dynamic uh, segment sizes to get you that high quality deduplication. So finally, that's the backup job. That's how you configure it and kick it off, and that gives you your protection for Oracle.